Good morning everybody, this is Ben back with you all again, and now it's time for sure definitely show show my Steve Martin movies, because, because you know, I mentioned uh, when I did my James Cameron movies, I actually originally tried to record this previously, but the battery on my phone was like draining, because I, I had a charge for like, what, 60 something or 70 something, it was like draining all the way down to like 20 or 18, 10 something, so because of that I had to put it off. And then I had to, and then I, and then I wouldn't like, and then of course with the delays because of the Salvation Army and Southfield and stuff. But, but besides, but after a lot of delays and now that I have the time to, where I finally, and now my, my phone is charged at a specific point, I'm now, now going to finally show my Steve Martin movies for you all, which I got a good, a few, I have a few of them, so let's get started. First up, we have the Muppet movie from 1979. He makes a cameo appearance. Yep, there's his name right there. Nope, that's not him, but there's his name right there. And Orson Welles, Richard Pryor, Madeline Kahn, Elliot Gould, Paul Williams, Dom DeLuise, Milton Berle, and James Coburn, and a couple bunch of others. We got the ink label. And there's no printing out here. This is a Canadian copy because it opens with the license for private home exhibition only screen and the duplication and whole part of this video set is prohibited screen. So that's how you can tell it's a Canadian copy. Anyways, going on here, we have The Jerk. This is also from 1979. So Steve Martin makes his film starring debut, but this is... He, had, he was in other films prior to this, including the Muppet movie. We got the sticker label, no print date. The case says MCA Universal Home Video, but on the label says MCA Home Video. And the tape opens with the MCA Universal Home Video logo on it. Anyways, next up we have Roxanne. This also has Daryl Hannah. The back of it. The case is kind of a Tape's kind of a pain to get out. Oh, there we go. Anyways, we got the label, end label, and the stickers and stuff. And the tape's kind of a pain to get back in, so hold on a sec, folks. Oops. This shouldn't take too long. There we go. Anyways, going on here, we have Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. This is also from 1987. This also has John Candy in it, made by John Hughes. Got the label here, and end label. Here's Parenthood. This has an all-star cast, including Tom Hulse, Rick, Rick Moranis, Keanu Reeves, Jason Robards, Mary Steenburgen, D Diane West, and a bunch of others, made by Ron Howard. And Gannett Newspapers call this a funny, touching experience that will sweep you away. And wait, does planes, trains, and automobiles have a... Oh, I forgot to mention the... Siskel and Niebuhr calls Roxanne a comic masterpiece. Forgot forgot to read the critic review on that, but that's okay. Got the label again, the print date. Here's Father of the Bride, one of the year's ten best by People Magazine. This also has Diane Keaton and Martin Short. Irresistible by USA Today and Marvelous by NBC TV Los Angeles. Yep, label, recommend this comedy hit to friends. Print date is December 3rd, 1997. So this is a, it's definitely a reprint. Here's House Sitter. This also has Goldie Hawn. I think this is from 1992. Yeah, it's from 1992. The film is. No review on here. No review, but. Still okay. The label. 
Here's the sequel to Father of the Bride, Father of the Bride Part 2, Big Laughs by New York Post. Absolutely Hilarious by American Urban Radio Networks and Steve Martin at his comic best by CBS TV Los Angeles. Haven't actually seen a lot of the, his movies though, but I've seen parts of them though. Got the label, print date is July 17th, 1996, so this too is a reprint. Here's a DreamWorks animated movie, The Prince of Egypt. He makes a voice in this, so that's why I'm showing it. Dazzling by Janet Maslow, the New York Times. Spectacular by Karen Butler of UPI. This is the second DreamWorks animated movie to be made after Ants and the first hand-drawn animated film from them. Print date is May 26, 1999. Next up, we have Bowfinger. This also has Eddie Murphy. I already showed this when I did my Eddie Murphy movies. Thumbs Up, Wildly Funny Comedy by Roger Ebert of Siskel and Ebert. But this film was made uh, post to Gene Siskel because Gene Siskel passed away in 1999. So, this tape was obviously uh, printed um, post Gene Siskel, I guess you could say. Anyways, here's Fantasia 2000. He hosts a segment in this. Pines of the Realm, I believe is what it's called. Breathtaking Splendid Entertainment by Roger Ebert. By Roger Ebert. Contains a collectible commemorative booklet on the art, music, and technology of Fantasia 2000. Which, unfortunately, this does not come with it. Got the label. Print date is August 4, 2000. Here's a DVD. This next one in... It, it, we have Bringing Down the House, one of the funniest movies ever by Larry King. This also has Queen Latifah. want to go kind of a bit quick here, because I know at this part, when I recorded this previously, this was the part where I got the low battery warning. Outrageously Funny by David Sheehan of CBS TV, and House of Laughs by Leo Rose and the People. It has all these bonus features. Got the disc right there. Here's Looney Tunes Back in Action. This also has Brendan Fraser and Jenna Elfman. This is a Looney Tunes movie. Two Thumbs Up by Ibram Roper. Used to watch this film when I was a kid. I had, and then I had this DVD since I was a kid as well. Oops. Hold on. There we go. Here's Cheaper by the Dozen. A fun film for the whole family by ABC TV Los Angeles. Two Thumbs Up by Ebert and Roper. This too, I and also Hilarious Chaos and Heartwarming Fun by Jeannie Wills Hollywood. This too, I used to watch back then. I think this is the film that introduced me to Steve Martin. I, well, it was on the DVD. It wasn't on the tape, though, but it was on the DVD, which I used to have, but I don't know what I did with it. Anyways, last but not least, we have The Pink Panther. This is the remake from 2006, former Black Buster Rental. Sheer Enjoyment for the all, for All the Family by Janet Stokes of Film Advisory Board, Incorporated. Yep. Based on the Pink Panther cartoons and the original Pink Panther movies. Alright, there you go. That's it for my Steve Martin movie collection. And I'll see you again probably, uh... Maybe later today, if I'm planning another video later. Or whatever, whichever is best. But... I'll still see you again later anyway, like I always say, but of course it's, um, sometimes I play in videos and sometimes I don't, but I'll still see you again later anyway, nonetheless.